guys, it's Stacy, and today I will be unboxing another package from my mom, who is a saint, as I mentioned in my last unboxing video. Um, she sent me a package, I think it's been a month or so, I can't really remember, but today is December 22nd, I just received a new package from her, yay, very exciting. And they actually, this time, I don't really know what this is. They just, they left it at my door. Normally they like leave the little note saying like, we missed you. Um, this time they just, they figured out I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna call them so many times they're just gonna deliver it without, without the signature. So cool. Um, I'm gonna open this and unbox it for you guys. It weighs 13 kilograms. My mom had to pay 7,000 for it. So, which is, about a hundred dollars ish and 13 kilograms is pretty heavy um yeah that is very heavy all right so the first thing i saw was this and i think these are like russian marshmallows and like they're actual like they look just like american marshmallows they figured it out <laughs> and it has such a soviet like packaging that's funny and this this just says uh sweet snow yeah it's really cute and then here, my mom sent me some cotton things to remove your makeup. As always, my mom knows what I need in the beauty department. This is uh, my birth control, <laughs> which I don't know, I feel like I've shown you guys this before. Um, they don't sell it here, and well, they do, but it's like $50 um, for one box. Back home is only $20 for a box, so. All right, these are um, candies again. They're just like Jolly Ranchers, like this. They got all these different flavors, um, apple, raspberry, lemon, and peach. So that's cool. And then, what is this? Oh my god. <laughs> that's so funny. So baguette is baguette, as we say. Um, this is like royal crab. That's the flavor. That's so cool. I always ask my mom to send me these things. You guys saw these last time. Um, it was a different brand, but it's a similar thing. And I love this stuff. It makes like literally the best um, beer snacks. This this too here, it says, it's like a cheese plate. That's what this flavor is. That's exciting. These things. So uh, my mom, I think my mom told me that my dad kind of put some of this together. And she told me that my dad bought me this. Uh, these are like, I don't even know what you would call it. Um, we call them sushki, which uh, I think it comes from the word dry, which is suha in Russian, but correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, these are uh, just like like little um, bagels, but they're really, they're not like soft as bagels are. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's very crunchy and you have to eat it with like tea because you can't just like eat this because it's literally like very hard bread. Um, and like some older people I know they like put it in tea first so it like becomes softer and then they eat it because their teeth can't like handle it. So yeah, that's exciting. Um, this was again, it's it's always been kind of a childhood thing. Um, there's a, there's a tongue twister we say about a girl who's eating one of these and crossing the road. Uh, try, try saying that a few times faster. All right, well we got more of these things. That's cool. What are these things? Oh my god, yes, that's exciting. Uh, so New Year's is coming up, which, you know, you guys might have seen my other New Year's videos where I was celebrating with Russians, and we have very specific ways to celebrate, and that is getting very drunk and very festive. So we have these things, which I think you guys call sparklers. Um, they just, it's, it looks like this. It's like a stick, and then you light it, and it just goes like that. It's very cool. Makes for good photos for sure. Um, and I asked, I think I asked my mom to send me some of these just for New Year's, and she did. So that's exciting. I'm going to Seattle this time for New Year's, also to celebrate with a few Russians, and I'm gonna take these with me. Yes. Okay, well, you guys can't read this, but um, this is Lolita by Nabokov, which you guys, of course, know because it's like one of the most famous Russian writers. And it's the, the book, and I'm finally gonna read it. I am. It's very embarrassing for me to say, but I have not read this yet, um, and I really want to, and I know it's a good book. And I know that he, I think, didn't he read this first in English or something, and then he translated it, or whatever. But either way, this is in Russian, um, 
Yeah, and it's, uh, when was this printed? Let's see. This was printed in 1999, so that's exciting. And then Barnaul, which is like southern, south of me. That's very specific. I like the, um, you know, the cover. I got stained. Anyway, so this book is older than I am. Well, of course my mom keeps sending me these things. That's just, I feel like every parent just kind of does this. Um, this is, uh, you know, ramen noodles. And, you know, sometimes I have to eat this because not only I'm broke, but I also don't have a ton of time to, like, cook myself food. So, I don't know, once a week, I think, there's a time when I have to resort to this. Yes! This is so exciting. I literally was waiting for this package to come so I can eat some of these things. This is just adding to this whole collection. Like I said, there's going to be more. I'm sure there will be more. I already see more. <laughs> yes, this is, this is so good. And, again, like... If you guys ever go to Russia, just please try these things. I don't know how to explain it. It's like fried bread or baked bread. I don't know. You guys have those kettle baked or baked... You know what I'm talking about. Those kettle chips or whatever. That's kind of like... This is like the Russian version of that, but it's bread. It's made out of bread. Okay, I just... I pulled out another one. <laughs> they put light on it like it's... Like it's less calories or something? I don't get it. So my mom sent a bunch of sh uh, shower caps, and I asked her for those, um, cause, so, I have this, there's this thing that Russians do, I don't know if Americans do that, but let me know if they do. This is for girls. Um, so, to have better hair, in Russia we buy fern oil, um, and we just like put it in our head, it kind of makes it like tingle a little bit, like the skin, but it makes it makes your hair grow faster and it just makes it really nice. And to do this, you have to put the oil in your hair and then you have to wrap your hair in a towel for two hours. But of course, we don't want to have oil on towels. So that's why people usually use, they put, um, they put the oil in their hair, they put the shower cap, and then they put the towels on. So, yeah, that's cool. Well, we had a few, I guess, in the house. That's why I should send them my way. I've actually, I, I do have the oil with me, I just haven't tried this yet because I didn't have a sh shower cap. So this is what uh, a Russian notebook looks like, just because, I don't know, my mom sent me one of those and I figured that would be kind of cool for you guys to see. Um, this would be a math notebook because it has those little, um, you know, squares. Because it's like plaid, um, right? Is that, is that how you would say it, plaid? But, um, and this is like where you can't write anymore. This is where the teacher writes the stuff. Um, we, we say pala, meaning field, so these are pala, and you write your stuff. Um, for, um, for all the other subjects, like, well, I think you would use this for most, but for stuff like literature and Russian language, you would use uh, a notebook that's lined, so you can just write. You don't need these little things. So yeah, cool. Look at that, there's more candy, of course. Uh, these are, uh, so marmelat. I think I've shown that before. These are just like jelly, um, jelly candy. It looks like this. Literal sugar on top of it. <laughs> this is diabetes in a, in a bag, but people love it anyway, and I do too, so. This gentle taste of apple, orange, and cantaloupe or honeydew, whatever you want to call it, this one. Okay, there's more, um, sparklers. Yay. But usually people do this on the balcony or something. You don't want to have a carpet um, next to you when you do this. Yes, you guys have seen this in the last video, but I, I'm sure I don't think it's a secret that I'm like obsessed with with um, beauty pro. Not obsessed, but I really enjoy doing all the beauty things like hair masks and face masks. And she, my mom, uh, sent me a few of these, a lot of these actually last time. And I told her I'm like, holy shit. These are so great. They make my hair shine, literally. It's just, it's the nicest feeling in the world. And also just, it makes my hair really healthy besides that. Um, so I asked her to send a few more. And these are only, like I said, last video, $20, sorry, 20 rubles, <laughs> which is, uh, you know, less than a dollar, which is really nice. So my mom sent me a few more of those. Here, so Super, super Mag <laughs> is how we say it. Uh, super Mag is, because uh, magazine uh, means a store, not a not a magazine in Russian, so um, that's why, yeah. But uh, it's for uh, everything that has to do with like fragrances and beauty products and 
whatnot. So that's where she bought it. And these are all the store locations. Let's see if we have ours. There we go. It's ours. Oh my god, okay. My mom told me to look through every bag. Is this actually? <laughs> so, this is insane. My mom sent me, so this is like half and half. Okay, at first I thought when I was like touching it, I was like, wait, is this liquid for like for real? But no, this is, uh, I think, I'm still trying to figure it out, yeah. This is a uh, powder. It's like powdered uh, creamer. That's nice. So my mom has sent me sugar before for my, um, for my coffee and for my tea. And I'm obsessed with coffee, as you guys may know. Uh, and now she sent me creamer. And this is Mr. I like how they left. They put this in English, but then this is in Russian. Uh, Mr. Mr. Slivkin is how you would say it. Slivki without this last letter is uh, half and half, literally. Or creamer. And they just added to make it seem like it's his actual last name very creative and i honestly didn't even know they made that anymore i know they, they do it here in the u.s but that's kind of cool and as i'm as i'm talking i see more of these things they're just longer that's why it says max on it there's all these different kinds there's light and max and regular and baguette <laughs> okay well we see some more of that baby face candy of course this is a uh, i always have it and it's not even for me my mom sends it to me so I can uh, show or I guess give to my American friends as a gift. That's kind of cool. So, 1,000 in one night. Well, there goes more chocolate. This is dark chocolate, I think. No, this is milk, never mind. Looks very bougie, look at that. Whenever they put chocolate in these like hard, you know, cardstock covers, like I, packages, I'm just like, why is this why is this a thing? <laughs> I like this color blue though. Ooh, this is so cool. Okay, guys. So my my family, I don't know if I ever mentioned that, but my family's like half Muslim, half Christian, half whatever. Like we're not really that religious, but my my mom's side of the family. So my grandma, she's not Christian, but she used to be uh, Muslim, and her mom was Muslim, and my her sister is Muslim still. Anyway, but um, this is a thing that people eat that are like Muslim people eat. Um, it's a sweet treat. And I want to say just Muslim, but it's like very uh, Middle Eastern, I would say. And like people in Mongolia, the Tatars, like all that. All those people. And including ourselves. I used to eat that when I was little. Um, chak chak is how you would say it. And it's, I don't know what it is, honestly, but it's, I'm sure it's just a lot of carbs as always. But it's made out of honey. Yes, yeah, so all this, the that sticks these things together. That's honey, and I think that's just like bread, kind of. Um, I probably am wrong, I don't know. But, that's super cool. Um, I am very excited to have this. After I'm done with this video. And you actually, you just pull it apart with your hands. Like, you don't have to, you know, cut it or whatever. That's just how people eat it. There's some, uh, you know, wipes, like wet wipes kids <laughs> no I, I usually ask my mom for these because in, in Russia I feel like they make them in like huge quantities and they're like this probably is less than a dollar again okay oh my god that's so cool okay that's another cool thing damn my mom really like put some really like a really cool package together not I'm not even done going through it but this is cool like that's I haven't had this in I don't know in years and that's another one of those things I feel like I forget what it's called and it got cut a little bit. Um, damn it, I forget what this is called. This is a very, uh, I think this is a French thing. I know it's a French thing and a Soviet thing for sure. So I'm not gonna, I can I can see the sugar like on my hands. So it's definitely should be kept in this bag. <laughs> oh my God, wait, here it says, Mont Passier, there we go. <laughs> I forgot the name, so Mont Passier. Um, so like I said, it's a French, French thing and it was popular in, uh, and Soviet Union as well. Granny key. I'm sure you guys have seen this before in my other packages. Um, these are with cranberries. Nice. Alright, so here come the cookies. Wow, that looks so good. You guys see this? The jam. This is a raspberry, raspberry cookies. Nice. 
So this is what we call a waffle. I think you guys call this a, a wafer. Am I saying this right? I don't know. Well, we call this waffles. Um, crunchy, crunchy waffles with hazelnuts. Nice. Yashkin is one of the really popular um, brands that makes these sort of things. Oh my god, is this what I think this is? Yes! Did I ask my mom to send this? I forget. But it's caviar of, not the red caviar that you guys have seen last time, but this is from a different fish, Tresca. Um, and it's also very delicious. We just, we like products from, from fish, you know? That's kind of what Russians eat a lot. That's cool. Nice. So these are cookies. Again, very, um, just a reminder of my childhood again. I'm sure this is how they sold them in Soviet Union. That's how they sell them now at markets especially. And then they do these little knots. Um, well, this isn't a, from a store, but like at a market, like a woman would specifically pack and then just sell them like that. So anyway, that's just again, childhood reminders. It's always nice. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Yes, this is so good. This is my favorite fucking, and there's Swix too. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna open this really quick. Okay guys, so the thing about um, candies like this, okay, well you guys don't even have this in America, the Mars. So there's Mars, there's, you know, Twix, and there's uh, Bounty is another one, um, which you guys also don't have. I think it's a European thing. I'm sure they have that in Britain or something, but the thing about the this one specifically or whatever other ones, the thing about these candies um, in America, in the US, they use really shitty chocolate to cover all this goodness that's inside of there. Um, it's it's almost like, I don't know, like, you know, like Hershey's chocolate. And again, I no offense to Hershey's, but I just, I hate their chocolate. It's just not good. But Russian chocolate, the milk chocolate that they use, is so good that I remember when I first moved to, to the US, I bought a bunch of these and I was so disappointed when I had them, when I tasted them. So I'm just very excited my mom sent these to me. Super cool. And there's more candies um, here. Let's see, ooh, I missed one. Snickers, okay, yeah, we have that too, but it's, again, so much better because of the chocolate. Yeah, these are, I think, you guys have seen all of these, uh, I'm sure. There's one that's like bird's milk right there, and then there's, um, there's Novosibirsky, I think I've, I've seen as well, just now. So yeah, these are all just the can candies from, from Russia, and they're all very colorful. Um, that looks so good. Well, there's more of these things, <laughs> as always. All right, so I gotta stop this unboxing right now because I gotta go to the movies because I bought a ticket to see uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi tonight at seven and it's already 6.30, so I gotta run um, to catch my bus. But this will be still here. Um, so yeah, I'll be back and we'll continue. The lighting will be different though, so. Just saying. Okay, I literally just walked through the door. Uh, Star Wars was great. It's I'm not gonna spoil anything, but holy fucking shit. Anyway, but back to this super nice box that my mom sent me. Um, so we went through this, right? Went we covered the candy. So there's uh, there's also sugar, which occasionally my mom sends me. Uh, it's comes in little cubes, so it's nice. I'm sure they sell sugar in cubes in America as well, but I just, I don't know, something about Russian sugar. These things you guys have also seen from the last video, uh, just like nuts and other, well, mostly just nuts, I guess. Um, and they're connected together by honey. So they're kind of like kind bars, really nice. And it says it's natural, all natural, also number one. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, nice. Oh, this is a different one. Look at that. So, uh, my mom sends me a uh, sausage a lot, which we say in Russian, we, we, we call this kolbasa. This one's called original, arigananya, with spirtsum, with pepper. Super nice. Well, that's exciting. Uh, I'm. Not really finished with the one that she sent me last time, but you know, it's always nice to have some more. This stuff I actually asked my mom to send me. Um, what do you call this in English? I forget. But uh, it's just stuff you put, it's just these little leaves that you put in your soup or other things. Um, 
And it kind of, kind of gives it this nice, uh, nice, I don't know, taste. <laughs> like an accent of some sort. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's so good. And I don't know, I don't really, I don't, haven't really seen Americans use this as much. So I'm going to. Nice. Okay, I already know what this is, but I'll show you anyway. <laughs> so you guys have seen this in my previous videos. Uh, Grechka. So it's not what it says here, but Grechka is this. So it's buckwheat. It's really good. It's good for you. Um, something we eat a lot in Russia. But they have been selling it for a while in these packs. So like one of these is a serving. So you don't have to like measure how much you have to cook. Here in the instructions it says you have to just put the whole thing in the in the pot and then put it out and uh, like pour it all out on the plate once it's done. And then there's this which is mashed potatoes. I mean it's already pre-made but you still have to put it in a pot so it's... I guess that's better. <laughs> I like how they have milk. Do I have to put milk in there? Is that what I have to do? Um, that's No that's not what I have to do anyway. I don't know why they put milk in here but I guess that's that makes sense. So this stuff you use just to make soup, um, the little, you know they sell those little cubes that you put in your soup and then they dissolve and it makes the flavor for the water. This is kind of what this is, but it's a, uh, it's a powder. These are a lot of cooking things. I think my mom was trying to tell me something. We eat oatmeal a lot back home, so this is like just oatmeal, you know, like you pour, you put it out, you put uh, hot water. Then you let it kind of be warm for a bit, and then it's ready to go, so. I like these things. I like fast, I don't want to say fast food, but food that you can just make fast. It's really nice, but also not very healthy. Speaking of which, <laughs> it's right here. The shirak, which you guys have seen in the last video. The shirak is a, it's not only a brand, it's also a metaphor for everything. For all fast, like just bad food, like, oh, I'm going to go get some the shirak because my life sucks. I'm just kidding, it's it's a guilty pleasure. I think I mentioned that in the last video too. Like, you, you sometimes just want this. I don't know, I can't, like, you can't help yourself. There's more. Kiryashki. Look, that's a different kind as well. That's nice. Of course there's me medicine. Um, there's more, birth control. Nice. This is all birth control. Um, this is painkillers, this green box, and these are antibiotics. This is a like a lotion or a cream for my back. <laughs> it's so funny, I have all people problems. I literally like can't bend and do sports or anything, so I gotta gotta take some pills. Now let's move on to these things. <laughs> Holding it upside down. Um, this is Gushonka or condensed milk. This is how they used to, this is what this is what the design was in Soviet Union. They kept it like that and you just open it and you eat it with, with you know, multiple things. You can put it in tea or coffee, well usually coffee is where you put it. Um, or you put it on your bread, like a piece of bread. I've seen people do that. Um, it's pretty good. And then let's see what this is. These are beans or fasol in Russian. That's cool. Again, people just eat this sort of stuff like out of the can because that's just kind of what we do. <laughs> um, <clears throat> some things are just hard to explain to Americans, I feel like. There's more fish. I guess I've seen some of this. So there's kilka. There is frik Ooh, frikadelki. Nice. That's cool. So frikadelki is like little meatballs. And they're made out of rice and... Uh, salmon. That's what this thing says. Wow, that's kind of cool. That's exciting. See the little Russian logo everywhere? It's a huge thing now that people pay attention to where their food is made. Um, so this one's also from Russia. And I guess I've seen this before. Sproty. Little fishes that you eat look like this. Let's see. Whoa, there's more kilka. This one's from Black Sea, it says. That says this one was fried in tomato sauce. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Nunets. That's just more fish. I don't really know all these names in English, but just think of like fish. Fish in a can. <laughs> 
sardines, kind of like sardines. I don't have sardines here though. Um, Bastiat is, um, it's a French thing. That's nice. I'm like just happy that this didn't get damaged as much like on the way here. I'm gonna move this over. Kind of ran out of space on the table. Okay, let's see. This is for my contacts. Um, I need a solution, whoops, a uh, contact lens solution, which they sell here in the US. I don't know how much this is in Russia. I know that you get it, wow, so smooth. I know you get it in Russia for free for, um, if you order from some websites, like if you order a bunch of contacts, you get this for free. I think that's how it is. Maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, but uh, this is much cheaper back home than here, even though it's literally the same exact thing. It just says Russian, like has Russian letters on it. So the note says, od babushki, which means from my grandma. That's cute. Okay, ooh, it smells really nice. Let's see. Of course, there's a uh, step. Which is just, you know, again, it's just candy. A lot of it is just different types of candy. This is a, re a really good thing. Very tasty. So, it looks like this. So that's kind of what it is. Hazelnuts. Ooh, nice. So, this is like... Here it says like it's a... Uh, I don't know how to translate this. But it's kind of like a rice crispy treat. But not really, because it it kind of looks like it, but not really. But it's let's just call it a, a, a rice crispy treat because it's it's it does say it's made from rice. So it has a little panda, so that's really cute. Nice. It says Russian dessert. Um, so this is uh, the ch the child candy, which you guys have seen, and 15% free, as if this is not enough. Um, but yeah, that's just you know again the girl that is that appears on candy a lot. Not really sure the I'm sure you guys can Google this. Can Google this. I don't really know the history behind all this stuff. And there's more chak chak. As you guys know, my grandma used to be Muslim and like was brought up in a Muslim family. And we we kinda have this in, in our I guess family culture. Um just that Tatar past. On my mom's side of course. Um but yeah, that's just that's just more of this for me. Okay, and last thing in this in this box, I just dropped something, um, and I already know what it is. I'm just hoping it's not broken or anything. So let's see. So they, there's some Russian writing. Let's see what they what it says in English. A portable magneto magneto magnetotherapy device with a traveling pulsed magnetic field. Well, I don't really know what any of that means. Let's see what this says. Uh, neurologic diseases. But anyway, I'm getting this for my back again. I think you you put these on your like on your spine and something. Have, I I have to read the instructions, but it's like award winning. Um, a lot of people know about this back home. A lot of people use it. It's all over TV. So my mom got it. It was like eleven thousand rubles, which is can't really do the math. A lot of dollars. <laughs> I have scoliosis and also blood pressure and all these other things, but this is this should help, and I'm happy. Let me let me try to open this. Nice. Okay, so it's it looks like it's gonna work. It doesn't seem broken or anything. So yeah, that's cool. I'm excited. I'm excited to use this. Um, but just to give you guys an just to give you guys a just to give you guys a. Just to give you guys an aftermath of everything my mom sent me. Very, very exciting. I dropped a few things. Um, but again, as always, thank you so much, mom, dad, and my grandma. Because I know that my dad bought, bought some stuff and he also helped uh, pack this. Because he just knows how to pack things really well. But I'm super grateful. You guys are spoiling me with your packages and whatnot. Um, a lot of it's health related. As you, I mean, not a lot, but... That was the main reason. My mom just wanted me to send this thing. And then she's like, well, we can't just send a small package. They don't really make boxes like that. And then she's like, well, let's just put this and this and this. And your and sausage and candy and all other things. But I can't complain. I like all the stuff. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm very tired. I actually was at work before this. Like, I came home. 
And I actually, because it's break and nobody's in Eugene, I can take on extra hours. I like how there's the balloon that just popped. It's behind my back. Um, but yeah, I can take on extra hours. So I was at work for like six hours today, so I'm very tired. And then I went to the movies and I almost missed my bus. I had to run after it, but the movie was so good. I am not complaining at all. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go eat some of that candy and some of that kiryashiki. <laughs> And I don't know, just like have tea or whatever with Chuck Chuck. So, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, y'all can say packages too if, if you want. I feel like that's, I'm not being very modest. But if y'all want me to unbox your box, it sounded kind of weird. To unbox your package, that's, that's even worse. If y'all if you want me to unbox your package on camera, I'm super down. Because people have sent me stuff before in the past. I got like a book. That somebody wrote i got a lot of coffee uh i got candy like just a lot of things really mostly coffee but uh let me know if you want my address i'm not just gonna i don't really want to give it away i really shouldn't but uh anyway i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>